During this module, we will be looking at ethical principles that why ethical principles are important and to whom we fix the responsibility of uh, implementing these ethical principles. The journal Ethical Principles constitutes the main domain of responsibility within which ethical issues are concerned. So, it's very important to understand that ethical principle ka first and foremost purpose ek responsibility ko fix karna hota hai. Because in this result, we determine that if any individual is following an ethical principle, ko agar follow kar raha hai, to wo kisi ek responsible individual ke taur par us setup mein behave kar raha hoga the manner in which they apply and the context in which they apply uh, they will inevitably change over the period of time uh, you can well understand this ex this by example that agar hum ek specific scenario mein ek responsibility ko determine karte hain to wo may be har context mein har scenario mein hamare liye same nahi rehti over the period of time, uh, right to information, ye ab ek law ban chuka hai. Our government ke har institution mein ek specific website pe column hota hai, which states that aapki sari policies, aapke sari procedures, aapke sari laws and bylaws, they should be open to everyone. Few years back, aisa nahi tha. Hame ek chote se rule ke liye, bhot saare offices mein, bhot saare uh, departments mein, kai channels se guzar ke, एक छोटी सी इंफॉर्मेशन को एक्सेस करना पड़ता था बट दीस डेज वी सी दैट प्रिंसिपल्स हैव चेंज रूल्स हैव चेंज सो इट इज नो मोर एन इशू टू गेट एक्सेस टू एनी काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सो सिमिलरली ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम देयर आर मेनी अदर थिंग्स व्हिच हैज बीन चेंज्ड जिसमें डिफरेंट प्रोसीजर्स हैं मेडिकल के प्रोसीजर्स हैं जो पहले कभी डॉक्टर्स डिफरेंट एथिकल एंड मॉरल वैल्यूज की वजह से बहुत सारे ट्रीटमेंट के प्रोसीजर्स को ओपनली पेशेंट के साथ जो केयर गिवर्स होते थे उन पर ओपन नहीं करते थे बट दीस डेज वो टेंड टू सी कि आप लाइव भी सर्जरीज जो हैं वो देख सकते हैं सो इट मींस दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट द टाइम ड्यूरेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द मेजर प्रिंसिपल जैसे हम रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी की बात कर रहे हैं इट कम्स इन डिफरेंट डोमेन्स एंड शेप्स एंड इट कैन चेंज ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम the existence of these ethical principles contribute to achieve the aim in scientific research knowledge honesty and error avoidance now the very principle jiske upar hum kaam kar rahe hain wo kya hai ki whatever the research the scientific knowledge we are engage into isme human error ke kam se kam chances hon iske andar biases jo hain wo kam se kam hon and moreover honesty ke sath kaam kiya jaye at times Transparency is very important to honesty. At times, you see that honesty can be judged in a way where the things are not transparent. हम किसी चीज को hidden रख रहे होते हैं और हम देख रहे होते हैं कि if someone knows कि उसको कोई भी नहीं देख रहा तो वो कितना honest behave करेगा. While in certain circumstances, we need to be very open to other people that what process we have followed. You know. So the very sense, the connotation, the context, it inevitably changed over the principle and over the period of time. For example, prohibition to falsify and misinterpret research data promotes fairness and helps to avoid mistakes. Basic definitions describing misconduct in science are fabrication, falsification and plagiarism. Now by fabrications mean, we need to say for instance, a person is being given placebo for a very long time, whereas that drug, that placebo is not going to give any benefit to the person because it has no medical properties. But we are doing portraying, we fabricating that this is for your good mental health, right? So that is fabrication. Then falsification is that, that for instance, many people used to say that a flu shot is a very good uh, protection ho sakti hai against COVID. So it's it's falsification, it's not truth, it's not scientifically proven. So you know at times the fabrication and falsification has been used as if this, this is scientific knowledge. And plagiarism is the third thing in which you are going to uh, publish something which is being already uh, written by someone else, which is being said by someone else and you are going to portray that thing as that 
uh, that is being contained by you so in those cases where you are going to plagiarize the work of other people where you are going to fabricate the scientific research where you are going to falsify the research evidences in all such uh, conditions it is very important to fix the responsibility so the very first principle responsibility uh, further contains uh, different uh, subdomains which is principle a beneficence and non beneficence we are going to talk in detail in further lectures about what does it means and what examples it carries principle b is fidelity and responsibility principle c is integrity principle 4 is justice principle 5 is respect for people's right and dignity so each principle is described in statement of values you know justice has some values you know uh, respect has some values you know honesty has some values so each of these connotations contains some kind of the value in itself aur in sab ki hame different tarah se manifestations jo hain wo dikhai deti hain reflecting the fundamental beliefs that guide ethical reasoning without those beliefs we could we can't just give ethical reasoning agar hamare dil mein is cheez ki koi feeling hi nahi hai ki ek animal ko ek experiment mein use karne ke baad उसको प्रॉपरली रिहेबिलिटेट करके हमने उस एक्सपेरिमेंट को क्लोज करना है तो वी विल जस्ट गोइंग टू सी ब्रेन डायसेक्शन करेंगे उसको देखेंगे और उसको हम डस्टबिन कर देंगे दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी एथिकली पॉसिबल रूल फॉर अ साइंटिस्ट कि वो किसी भी एनिमल uh, के साथ उसकी डायसेक्शन के प्रोसेस में उसको हार्म दे सके सो फॉर यू नो इंश्योरिंग दीज प्रिंसिपल्स टू ह्यूमन एंड एनिमल्स एंड ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू रिसर्च दीज प्रिंसिपल्स कैरी अ स्पेसिफिक वैल्यू एंड इट हैज सम वेट नॉट डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड बिहेवियर इफ वी जस्ट सिंपली निगलेक्ट ऑल दीज वैल्यूज वुड इट बी पॉसिबल फॉर आस टू हैव सर्टन काइंड ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग विच इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर आस सर्टनली नॉट इट वुड नॉट बी पॉसिबल फॉर आस टू हैव पॉजिटिव डिसीजन मेकिंग concrete decision making and to uh, to show socially appropriate behavior under each principle we list issues and considerations that psychologists should be aware of in applying the principle in their work so to sum up this this is very important for the uh, progress of a psychologist for a progress of a researcher that in each of the domain each of the principle they have to apply their uh you know best of the knowledge of these values into their working 